Order to interject and get this witness to answer well, the question. Point of order. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you, uh, former Liberal Minister Baines. Former Liberal Minister Baines, as a Minister of the Crown, you're responsible for to Parliament for all parliamentary appropriations under your department, are you not, in addition to appointments? Uh, when all ministers set budgets, they need to be approved by Parliament. That is correct. Right, you're accountable for that. So you're accountable for every dollar that's spent that, you've out, that was allocated. I'm going to ask you, first of all, about your appointment of the Chair Annette Bouchard, who at this committee said three times that she didn't apply, that you phoned her twice to ask her to serve. And then Point of order, Mr. Chair. she applied the after that. Sorry, not Mr. a Burke. point of debate, Mr. Hold, hold on, I do have a point of order. I do have to hear. Okay, we'll start all over again. The, then. the point of order. Yes, Mr. Drain. The member knows so well. The member, the particular person he's talking That's about, has debate. corrected the record. Has corrected the record no, in hasn't. writing. Thank you for so much. No, she hasn't. Well, no, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. Okay. okay. No, she hasn't. If you will listen. Okay, you will get the gentlemen, so I'll stop. Start all this over is clearly a, a point uh, of of debate. Uh, no, it isn't. It's a, it's. I'll, I'll just remind the government members that I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, uh, You're a government member. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't like needless point orders on either side. So my, my point, though, is not just to highlight that it's a government member issue. It's not. It happens occasionally on both sides when the debate gets heated. But you always have the immediately right of reply uh, after Mr. Perkins. It is you, in fact, Mr. Drouet. And um, I, I hope that if you extend in your side, courtesy on the official opposition, they will do the same, and if they do not do so, I will censure them as well. Uh, I am going to back up the clock uh, for Mr. Perkins. Uh, you can restart your question, Mr. Perkins, not the time, just your question. So I'm backing up the clock, not not from the top, but you can start your question oh, from the top. He interrupted me before I even got but my Mr. question. Mr. Perkins, I'm, I said I'm backing up the, the clock. You have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Baines, you... Uh, phoned, according to Annette Bashar, and you phoned her twice to ask her to serve. Is that correct? Because that's what she said at the committee. As I have stated um, in my previous I, I don't want a dissertation in, in on the appointment process. It's a simple yes or no. You phoned her twice, yes or no. As I stated in my previous testimony at uh, Industry Committee, um, I reached out to a number of people during my tenure as a minister and asked them to participate in this open, transparent, merit-based. Mr. Mr. Perkins, I have a point of order. I've stopped the clock. Yes, please. Uh, yes, thank please. you uh, very much. I believe that uh, Ms. Ver Versuren, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name, did uh, Again, this correct is, her this, this, this uh, Okay, I just but ruled on this. This is not it, a it point of order. Sense. We will Stop. start from the top. It does not make sense. Okay. It does not make All right. sense this is, to continue we start I to endeavored harass at, a witness uh, miss, on miss, this. Miss, miss, it, the, miss the evidence is there, so I'm just not sure why. It just... She applied after the phone. All right, Mr. Perkins, Mr. Mr. Perkins. And you'll Let's learn something Mr. for Mr. Mr. Why Perkins. Why don't you want to learn anything? Mr. Perkins, I will remind you. Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins, I remind you. Before, before, before I remind you. You should. I take exception to your cover up. We are going to suspend Absolutely. for a minute. Back into order. And if I could have everyone's attention, including the official opposition. First, I'm just going to highlight the safety aspect when everyone is talking at once uh, it is putting the interpreters in a very very difficult position we've had made many changes here to ensure that their health is protected um, I, I also want to highlight that uh, mr. Baines is here for about an hour because uh, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a conflict which which I understand and 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 uh, um, appreciate him being here. He's agreed to come back. If we continue to go down this uh, rabbit hole uh, and, and debates that are happening while it's a member's turn to speak, uh, which those items be brought up by an opposing side uh, at a later round, uh, we're not going to get anywhere and we'll be back. Now, further, I'd committed not to sit next week, but if this devolves the way it is going to devolve, uh, I might reconsider that. So, so well, Mr. Zoran, you be careful saying that because I we sit a, we sit a lot in recess weeks, a lot, and and your colleagues I don't think 
your colleagues will not appreciate you cheerleading me That's on calling, uh, calling, calling meetings. No, Mr. Dre, I can assure you they won't. Anyway, if we can proceed civilly, can, can I say as well that Mr. Baines is an experienced parliamentarian, and I'm sure he's going to be able to provide answers to committee members uh, on both sides. So I hope we can get through this um, without, uh, without this devolving into a shouting match again. And I'm going to close lastly on just, again, please respect the uh, interpreter. So, uh, Mr. Perkins, you have about just over a little over four minutes uh, on the clock. The floor is yours uh, again. Please begin. Point of order. Yes, Mr. Perkins. Uh, I have six minutes left. Oh, pardon, me, pardon me, pardon me. You have five minutes on the clock. Pardon I have me. Just, six just, minutes on the no, clock. Mr. They, haven't, Mr. they haven't allowed me to get a single question. Mr. Out. Mr. Perkins, first of all, you asked a couple of questions about Mr. Mr. Bain's role as a minister, what he's responsible for, et cetera, et cetera. I, I'm, not sure, I'm not cutting you short. I just want you to know that you've got just over five minutes on, on the clock. The floor is yours, please, Mr. Perkins. Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Baines, when I ask a yes or no question, I appreciate a yes or no, not a rag the puck. Yes or no, you called Annette Chavisharian two times as she testified here in committee. As I had mentioned in my previous uh, testimony, I was responsible for over a hundred governor appointments. council Please recommendations. Answer the, answer the question, or I'm going to interrupt so I don't you recall constantly. Specific answer Congress. the question: Did you phone her twice? That's what's her testimony. Is she telling the truth? As I said, I don't recall okay. um, any so, such conversation so she, taking place. She testified here that that uh, three times that she was asked by you. Who told you to ask her? As I said in 2016, a new appointments process was introduced. It was open to all Canadians, and it's not uncommon for me as I a I don't need a recitation of your opening statement again, Sergeant Schultz, Point saying order, I know John? nothing. Look, I'll go on to the Point next order, question. Sorry. 2016, sorry. Point Mr. Order, you appointed Mr. Mr. Perkins, I, Andre I, do, I do have a point of order. Ms. Khalid, you have the floor. Maybe it's a point of clarification. Uh, I believe that the witness here today is um, is Mr. Baines. I'm not sure who Sergeant Schultz or yeah. whoever this uh, this member is referring to. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, agreed, uh, Mr. Perkins. If, uh, if if you could if you could refer to Mr. Baines as, as 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 the witness or Mr. Baines, it would be appreciated to maintain decorum in the committee. Thank you. Uh, former Liberal Minister Baines in charge of the Liberal Green Slush Fund, you appointed Andre Lismato in 2016 under your new and clean process, correct? Um, as I indicated in that, my opening remarks, um, my responsibility as a minister is to appoint, to appoint seven out of the 15 board members. And That's you correct. appointed her. And while she was on the board and while you were minister, $114 million of Green Slush Fund money was voted to her companies and you had an assistant deputy minister in every single meeting do you expect canadians to believe that you knew nothing sustainable development technology canada is an arm's length organization the management oversees the day-to-day -day operations and there's a board that oversees management. It's true. And again, they also as I have said a, in my... The Cycle Capital, Andre Lise Mateau's company, also had a lobbyist for 10 years. His name was Stephen Gibo. It still is Stephen Gibo. He lobbied for 10 years. Uh, $100 million during those 10 years went to Cycle Capital. He met 25 times with your office and you in the year before he was nominated. Do you remember any of those meetings? During my tenure as a minister, uh, I met with a number of stakeholders from the clean tech sector. I don't recall any specific meetings with uh, the individuals you have mentioned. You don't remember meeting with the now radical liberal environment minister who was a nominated order, liberal Mr. candidate. Sharp? So well, I will Mr. ask Mr. you Perkins, once again. Mr. Perkins, one, one second. I'm not sure yes, why there's name calling going on uh, within within our our, so, uh, our committee here. He's so, proud of being a radical. Please, please. Um, uh, th this one I will allow. These are these are these are statements we hear in the floor. Um, Which you guys have established. You guys keep repeating. 
repeating those statements. Ms. So I'm not sure well, Ms. why you think that it is okay Mr. for the committee to repeat those call them to be credible because they are not credible. I didn't weigh in on whether they're. You just did. I Chair. said I did. said they are echoing what uh, we hear in the House. Uh, of, of Commons, which is permitted, ergo, I would appreciate if, uh, if the member re redacts those comments. It, well, but, Ms. Khalid, that's not your call. Mr. Perkins, I'm asking I, you to I, do it, I, Chair. I, pardon me? I'm asking you oh. to, to ask the no, member I, I, to, to redact those comments because they are uh, absolutely no, unreasonable. Ms. Ms. Khalid, I, Ms. Khalid, I have ruled against that our they democratic are, institutions. Ms. Khalid, I have ruled that they are in order. Mr. Perkins has the floor. You have the floor, sir. So you don't rem remember meeting with uh, radical uh, liberal Stephen Gibo. You d do you remember meeting with a fellow named Gerald Butts in those meetings who was working in the PMO, since he's listed as meeting with you on this at the same time? As uh, you know, um, when I was made minister in 2015, um, Mr. Butts, the individual you mentioned, worked for the prime minister's office. Did he, uh, those meetings were about uh, funding of Cycle Capital Fund 4. That's what's listed in the public thing, and he met with you. And then uh, EDC, after those meetings, invested in uh, Cycle Capital Fund 4. So that happened fairly quickly. Uh, do you remember having those discussions about having Gerald Butts and the uh, radical now radical environment minister lobbying you to get funds for cycle capital whose founder was on the board that you appointed uh, from EDC as I said before sustainable development technology Canada is an arm's length organization and as you mentioned at the beginning budgets are approved uh, through the parliamentary budget process so on June October 19th only 14 days after some of those meetings, EDC announced $145 million for that. So you don't recall any of that, just like you didn't recall anything when you were at industry committee. Is that correct? Could you repeat the question, please? No, I won't repeat it again. Uh, you approved, one of the last things you did as minister was approve, after all of this corruption, you took forward another $750 million for the Green Slush Fund, which was announced a month before you left the job to go work at CIBC and now at the most expensive cell phone company in the world, Rogers. So can you tell me, Point of order, with Mr. all Speaker. that corruption Point of order, going order, on, Mr. why Speaker. did you yes, seek $750 million Perkins, of more taxpayer money? Order. Relevancy, the member oh, who is before on. us is not about here to answer about his future life, but here to answer about... SDTC. Well, if you get so, the wax out of your ears, you hear that I asked okay, about the $750 okay, Mr. million dollars Mr. approved by Cabinet that Mr. he took Mr. on the, the Green Slush Fund. Mr. Mr. Perkins, your actions are just encouraging them to be belligerent to the chair as you're being belligerent to the chair. I would ask you to cease and desist when a point of order was called. Mr. Drouin, Mr. Drouin, the same goes for you, Mr. Drouin. Uh, I allow members on both sides latitude to probe. Uh, there is no question of relevance here, Mr. Wow. Perkins. Mr. Mr. Perkins was. Mr. Yeah. Perkins is. Uh, Mr. Just let me finish. Mr. Perkins is, as all members are, entitled to uh, ask the questions in the manner they please. But his question is clearly, from what I can see, going in the direction of the topic we're studying. Uh, Ms. Khalid, do you have a point of order? Uh, yeah, on the same point of order that was raised by um, by uh, Monsieur Drouin, I don't see how the wax in his ears has anything to do with the questions that are being Thank asked you. today. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Perkins, you have. I'll back the clock up. You have uh, the question again. Go ahead. So I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it simple for you, Mr. Bain, since since that seems to be the only way to try and get an answer. After 114 million dollars went to Andre Lee's Matos companies, you went to cabinet seeking another $750 million for the Green Slush Fund when 25% of the money was going to Cycle Capital, which Stephen Gibo owned shares on, was a lobbyist for. Why did you go to Cabinet for another $750 million for such a corrupt organization? As has been discussed before, Sustainable Development Technology Canada is an arm's length organization. The management oversees the day-to-day -day operations. There's an independent board that oversees them. 
and the budget process is debated in the House of Commons and approved by the House. And these monies are allocated to promote and support the clean tech sector. Chair, I think this uh, witness is in contempt of this committee since he refuses to answer a question and keeps repeating his either written PMO Point speaking of order, points Chair. or not. That's, That's all he's doing. Exactly. Well, I, th I think we're just Point of starting. Order, and as, as skilled parliamentarians, uh, you'll have repeated opportunities to get to Mr. Baines answered. Yes, Ms. Khalid. Um, Chair, I doubt that uh, that the the member opposite has uh, the qualifications to make those um, those allegations. I, I believe that it is up to you to decide whether uh, somebody's in contempt or not. And I, I personally don't Thank think you. that anybody has been in contempt Thank you so far. Very much, Mr. Perkins. Could you ask your question again, and then we will get an answer and move on. Very simple. Why? did you seek $750 million more for this organization that was funneling money to your Liberal appointments when you knew it was a corrupt organization and you went forward to give them more money from the taxpayer to further feather bed your political appointees and the Prime Minister's political appointees? Are you really that corrupt? Budgets are approved by Parliament and as I said, this is an independent organization that oversees the disbursement of these funds. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, for Mr. Durand, for six minutes, s'il plaît. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And, uh, I have to say, I, uh, I'm still questioning as to the reason why Mr. Baines is before our committee as <laughs> Mr. Perkins and both Mr. Cooper got to ask him questions in, uh, in June, and I'm wondering their competency in auditing uh, whether or not they are competent to actually ask questions. Um, because uh, obviously when you get the time to ask questions, you would think that, um, you know, you'd get to the bottom of this. But obviously this is not about getting to the bottom of this, and we've seen it. I've only been here for about five meetings, and we're still in the spirit of asking who briefed you, who briefed the witness, and who appointed you to the board, and and I find it funny because Mr. Perkins was appointed by a Conservative to a board, and he was appointed in 2008, but in the press release, I don't see that he previously worked for a Conservative government, but we know he did that. And now he has the audacity to ask who appointed who to a certain board, and, and, and the funny thing, I, 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 just, I find it, I, I can't, Mr. Chair, I can't find, Point of I order. can't stop laughing. Because it's point actually funny because it's I hypocritical. Have a, I, I have a point of order, Mr. Durant. Yes, Mr. Point, point of order, relevance. We're not here to talk about the BDC yes, appointments. Yes. We're here to talk about the Liberal Greens slush fund. And I know that's a confusing thing Th for you. MP Durant. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Perkins. And again, well, I think Mr. Durant is having uh, he's a bit off topic. Mr. 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 Durant, you guys heard, heard my... 400 million. Okay, Mr. Perkins, we will be back to official opposition members. Who know. Mr. Durant, you have the floor again, please. So, he actually provides me a great segue. Is it Mr. Mrs. Verschuren, who they want to make the Canadians believe that she's a liberal, but like Mr. Perkins, donated the same exact amount, the same amount, $1,600, to a conservative leader potential candidate and the last Tory BC. candidate. Same Neither amount of money. Charade. The same amount of money. Uh, Mr. Perkins, Neither I can't Josh stop. Charade. The hypocrisy is good for the goose. Hypocrisy the, the hypocrisy on the other side is incredible. So you'll allow me. Mr. Point won't. Mr. Perkins. Duh. The appointment of Ms. Verschuren. Perkins. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Perkins. You can just woe les motard a little bit. Uh, Slow down a bit. You have the floor again. Well, it's all public records, and that's, I wonder if they were holding hands when they donated together, but uh, just, it's, 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 again, I've warned this at the last committee, I'm not interested in going into a wild goose chase, and right now, we are entertaining a wild goose chase, we're trying to make, they're trying really hard, they're trying really, really hard to make a connection between a minister and some low-level bureaucrat who committed errors. And we're not saying on this side that they haven't committed errors. We agree. 
but the idea that the minister was connected to that is baloney, and it's just baloney. The well, it's well, Mr. Brock, if you, were, if you were in the courtroom, you yes, would have been so fired draw, and disbarred from the, the Law Society of Ontario, Mr. The Mr. Brock. Right to the minister. Gentlemen, we're, we're doing ourselves no favors here. I would uh, ask that we respect Mr. Drouin's uh, time. You have the floor again. So, Mr. Chair, my point is I've read the transcript from Mr. Bain's appearance at the INDU committee, and to this day I have not learned, in the last six minutes, have not learned anything new from Mr. Perkins' questioning, other than the fact that they will interrupt Mr. Baines, they will ask them a yes or no questions, knowing full well that he does not know the answer because SDTC is arm's length and it's always been arm's length. The idea that the minister has direct control over the decisions and the financial decisions of SDTC is out of out of touch. Mr. Chair, Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins maybe has a right, maybe his experience at DTC. Mr. Chair, I'm just going to try to bring order here. Miss um, Khalid, if you have a point of order, I appreciate everyone to say point of order. Otherwise, I just think you're participating in the fun fight that's going across. Point of order, is it a point then, of order? Yes, Chair? please. Um, I would appreciate if colleagues can not holler and yell and shriek across yes. the, the way. My colleague is sitting right beside me, and I can't even yes. hear him based on all of the, the shrieking that is happening Thank from, you. From, from, from those Thank folks Thank you, Miss Khalid. I, I too would, uh, would appreciate that. Um, and again, what's, uh, unfortunately, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So I would ask that all sides uh, refrain from uh, speaking when an individual has the floor. And Mr. Drouin has the floor, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. I can tell I'm uh, ruffling some feathers if we want to talk about goose and ganders and whatnot. Um, <laughs> But again, I, perhaps Mr. Perkins has some other idea of how boards work, and perhaps he was breeded down the neck when he was appointed at the BDC, and perhaps ministers' offices were breeding down his necks to make decisions, but that's not how we operate. We change the process. We change the way people are, are appointed to, this, uh, to, to different boards, and it's actually on websites. So the idea that this was some secret liberal board appointees that somehow benefited our friends and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm still waiting for my friends to say, thank you so much, Frank, for having benefited to my personal wealth. I have none. So I'll go back, I'll go back again to the rationale as to why Mr. Baines is here is because there was some... Um, Does he appoint these people? No, no, no. There was, some, there was some issues with the fact of a testimony, which that testimony, the, te the witness later corrected, and it's on the record. She later corrected. I mean, the idea that somebody would, Truth came out would somehow a, accept, accepted it. an appointment without having applied is ridiculous. Name me any employer who would say, I named this person my employee without having applied. Hey, les gars, là, vous faites pas de sens. Vous Guys, it doesn't make any sense. You make zero sense. And you're here, and once again... People, people applied, these people, Mr. Perkins and Mr. Cooper, had the opportunity to interview and ask questions to Mr. Baines already. And the fact that he's here once again at another committee with the same people makes no sense, zero sense. I have no question for Mr. Baines. I understand very well. I saw the transcript of the last meeting in June. It didn't take one month, two months, three months, four months, five months for these people to accuse even before he answered. You're going to go through a certain issue. You're going, to, you're going to be asked a yes or no answer. You're going to be accused. They're going to opine on certain facts that they uh, will not allow you to answer because they will interrupt you, and that's the way it's gone at Indu Committee. And unfortunately, He's it's the way it's going friendly. to go at this committee, and I apologize for this, but we know you had nothing to do with this. There were certain... <laughs> people that had something to do with it, but it was never connected <laughs> to a minister's office. It was never, and I know you guys are she trying direct, hard. He directed really, to really, the really, conflict. I know, m m Mr. Perkins, maybe it okay. worked at that time when you were at the BDC, Thank you, but it certainly Mr. does not Mr. work Mr. at this Durant, committee is, and with the way that, we appointed people. That you is, the testimony. That, Mr. Perkins, Mr. Durant, that, Mr. Perkins, we will be back to your side. 
That is the time. Uh, Madame Saint-Clair. Now, Ms. Saint-Clair de Gagné for six minutes, please. I'd like to take the first seconds of my time to ask colleagues to please take a deep breath because we have work to do, and I invite my colleagues from the government side to give me their time if they have no questions for Mr. Baines. I have a number of them. So, Mr. Baines, what is your relationship with Amber Batul? Uh, merci. Thank you very much for your question. I worked with uh, Ms. Batul when I was at CIBC. You didn't know Ms. Batul when she was chief of staff of SDTC? Uh, désolé. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, sorry, I didn't hear. You didn't know Ms. Batul when she worked at SDTC? Uh, I think I met her maybe once or twice at an event. Donc, Madame Batoul. So, Ms. Batoul was the chief of staff of SDTC, and you hadn't spoken to her more than once or twice at the time. Yet, Ms. Batoul followed you to CIBC. She obtained a position just after you at CIBC. Point of order, Mr. Chair, once again, there's this. They're suspecting that this was a decision made at CIBC. This has nothing to do with SDTC. Can we stick to SDTC? Mr. Drouin, we let you talk about anything when it was your turn. We heard about Mr. Perkins and I don't know what else. But So now, Mr. Baines knows very well how to speak. He can answer the questions asked by Ms. Sinclair de Gagné that she's asking very respectfully. Madame so, Madame saint claire de Gagné, you have the floor. I think some people are afraid of the answers Mr. Baines could give. So, I'll start again. Ms. Batoul followed you to CIBC. Once again, Mr. Chair, I'm going to make a point of order. This has no relation to the decision. If, okay, if Ms. saint claire de Gagné suspects that Mr. Baines made the decision this to hire... This woman, she needs evidence. You're, you're on beyond less than thin ice because we just listened to you. The chair allowed you to go on for six minutes about, so yes, say, and oh, I yeah, stopped exactly. the clock every time that happened to give you your, your time. But now for you to jump in uh, and say that uh, another member who's trying to ask questions to the witness uh, can't be allowed to do so. I, I'm, I'm not sure who you think you are. I, um, I don't, we, Mr. We, Chair. We, we I think about relevancy time. of this. Doc, like, why are we here? We are here to study SDTC, not CIBC, not Rogers, not anything else. SDTC. And 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 the and the members' questions are Point going order, Chair. exactly in that direction. Yes, Ms. Kelly. Point of order, Chair. Oh. I I take exception to you questioning. Um, who Mr. Drouin thinks he is. He is a member of parliament with the exact same privileges that we all have in this committee. And I don't think, exactly, exactly. We, we, have, the, we have the privileges that we have within this committee and I, I don't think that that is something that you should be calling out. Uh, that is correct. And Mr. Drouin was given an opportunity to speak. Now Madame St. Clair is digging is. It's not up to Mr. Drouin to suddenly decide that what another member is asking is relevant uh, or, well, or not. Why do we have point of orders, Mr. Chair? Well, again, I ruled on it, and now I'm moving, uh, now I'm moving, uh, moving on. Mr. Perkins, you had a point of order as well. My point of order is about... Mr. Drew, from the moment I asked my first question within the first minute, he was interrupting. He chose as a tactic to try and disrupt every single sentence I said. Now he's doing it to the block member. It's a specific tactic to disrupt the committee, and because of his disruptive behavior, I would ask you consider that you not allow him to speak or remove him from the committee. I would ask so, the same favor so, well, for Mr. Okay, Perkins okay, who interrupted okay, me. Gentlemen, uh, let's try to proceed uh, with this. I would uh, ask that Madame St. Clair de Gagné uh, be allowed to continue her questioning. Attends, attends, I was interrupted a number of times. So you can ask your question again. And once you've concluded, I'll begin 
at five minutes. A sank, a sank minute, just a Stop. point of. Wait, there's another point of order. Chair, I think it's only fair that uh, Madame Sinclair de Gagné gets uh, her, her, her full six hours, six minutes uh, at this point. Well, uh, Miss Khalid is certainly going to, uh, pardon me, Miss Madame Sinclair de Gagné va certainement. Miss uh, Ms. Sinclair de Gagné will certainly have her six minutes. So you can ask your question again. The, the, the interruption is happening because of the numerous points of order, which are, as I said, uh, a little thin about relevance. When I'm going to allow members, and always have, a lot of latitude. Alors, vas-y, Madame Cicladin. Je remercie. I'd like to thank my colleague opposite, and especially Mr. Drouin, for his mansplaining on the topic of study. Let's continue. Ms. Batoul followed you to CIBC, and I received as information that you had a number of meetings with her while she was chief of staff at SDTC. You say it's not the case, that you maybe met her once or twice, but that's contrary to the information I received. I'd like to confirm with you. As I said before, I may have met her a few times. I don't recall the specific number of times. Um, again, SDTC is an arm's length organization where the management oversees the day-to-day -day operations. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. When you say a number of times, is this once or twice, or is it more like 10 or 15, to give an idea? Again, I can't put a specific number on it. Um, it's uh... over, it was over six years ago. I dealt with a number of people during my tenure as a minister. Um, and so, as a minister... Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Have you participated... Merci. Thank you, Mr. Baines. Have you partic Did you participate in her hiring at CIBC? Again, si I'm here to talk about... If you didn't know her. ...about development technology Canada and any questions you have pertaining to that. Uh, mes questions, mon temps. My questions, it's my time. I can ask you questions about the fact that you may have been a part of the hiring process for Ms. Batoul. And I, if you didn't know her or hardly knew her, why did you participate? Did you push for her hiring at CIBC? Vous allez voir où je vais en venir. You'll see where I'm going. It has a relation with SDTC, so please answer. Yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm more than pleased to answer any questions pertaining to Sustainable Development Technology Canada. Mr. Chair, I'm getting to SDTC. I'm asking questions that are related to SDTC. Um, Please ask your question again. So for the third time, I ask if you participated in the hiring process, the recruitment process for Ms. Batoul at CIBC, following your meetings with her as Chief of Staff of SDTC. So as I've mentioned, um, I met with Ms. Batoul when I was a minister. I don't recall the number of times specifically. Um, and as I've also highlighted, Sustainable Development Technology Canada. Merci. Donc, uh, thank you. Donc, vous pas... So you can't say that the fact that you met her beforehand when she was chief of staff at SDTC influenced your decision to bring her to CIBC afterward. You deny that it was related. Your work with her, your meetings with her when she was at SDTC have nothing to do with the fact that she went and worked with you at CIBC. As I've mentioned before, the management oversees the day-to-day -day operations at Sustainable Development Technology Canada, which is, which is an arm's length organization. Merci. And my vous... Thank you, but you're not answering the question. It's a pretty simple question. Did your meetings with Ms. Batoul when she was Chief of Staff at SDTC have an impact on your recruitment of Ms. Batoul at CIBC? This is a question you can answer with yes or no, please, Mr. Baines. It's an arm's length organization that oversees SDTC. 
and my responsibility as a minister was to appoint seven of the 15 board members. I don't think I'll obtain an answer from you on this, so I'll move to the next topic. A question that came up earlier. Who encouraged you to hire or name Ms. Vershuren? Was it someone internally, internal to the department? Uh, with respects to the individual, Ms. Vershuren, uh, as you know, uh, she had an impeccable track record. She was appointed by Stephen Harper ouais, in 2006. I asked who, who? Was it, for example, Andrew Noseworthy who encouraged you to hire her? Mr. Noseworthy, did he have anything to do with that process? There was a new process established in 2016 that was open to all Canadians. And it's an open... Order, Mr. Chair. Yes, Ms. Killeen. Even though I'm sitting quite far away from my Conservative colleagues, uh, I heard one of them uh, call Mr. Baines a liar, which I think is, uh, is not only disrespectful, but also goes against our standing orders. On the same point of order. Yes, Mr. Brock. I'm sitting with my Conservative colleagues. I heard no such thing. Yeah, but, more, at it. but more importantly, I laugh <laughs> at many things. You laughed at it. I laugh at many things. I didn't laugh at that because I didn't You laughed it. at it. Chair, on, on, that, on that same point of order, I'm actually getting quite frustrated. I'm sure other members are getting frustrated at the obvious attempts of this particular witness, a former Minister of the Crown, who is deliberately wasting time, not answering a direct question that's put to him, repeating the same talking lines over and over again Thank you. from the Mr. same okay. testimony Mr. that Brock, he gave I, at industry on June the 5th, I, 2004. Chair, I, I I'm asking the chair to interject just, and get this witness to answer well, the question. Just, point of order, chair. Just one, I'm, I've got a couple lined up here. Mr. Cooper, I think you, did you have a point of order you want to make? No, okay, Ms. I would Mentelli. appreciate if Mr. Cooper would apologize to Mr. Baines oh. for calling him a liar. I, we all know that when witnesses come to this committee, they are under obligation to, to be truthful, and I know for a fact that Mr. Baines, through his, not just his ministry, but also through, through the work he's done throughout his entire life, he's been a truthful and, and principled person. And I, I take personal okay. exception, I, I take personal exception, I take personal <clears throat> exception not only to members in the Conservatives laughing right now, but also to somebody who is an innocent person being maligned by the Conservatives, well, right. and this is their go-to, their what, motto. Why don't I hear from of, Mr. Cooper of, now? Of hearing a time and Answer. time again. This is absolutely unreasonable, Chair. Thank you. Well, well, on the, the same point of order, perhaps Mr. Baines can apologize to taxpayers okay. for $400 million. Mr. Chair, Th thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, uh, ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I retract I, those comments. Okay, all right. That happened when he was the minister. Well, I'm, not, I, I'm not in a position to... My job is to my my job according to the stand, according to the order order according to my my so the standing orders lay out my role which is to attempt to maintain order and hopefully succeed that uh, in terms of any kind of censure that needs to be reported to the house if you wish to pursue it. Uh, I'm going to go back to Madame Saint Clair de Gagne, s'il vous plaît. Vous avez la parole pour. Uh, you have the floor for about two minutes, dear colleagues. We're trying to do our work. And I think this witness is key to the whole study of SDTC, so I'd like for him to answer the questions that are specific and that there is an end to the interruptions to questions. I'm just trying to do my work here. So, Mr. Nozorthy, did he have anything to do with the selection process of Ms. Vershuren? Yes or no? There is a panel uh, that was set up as part of this new Est-ce que Mr. Nozorthy did Mr. Was Mr. Nozorthy on that panel? Dans la sélection du... it, or in the selection of the panel? The Privy Council office and included the relevant departments. D'accord. 
Encore une fois, est Okay, once again. Was Mr. Noseworthy part of that panel or part of the selection of that panel? I don't recall the specific members of the panel. I do know that uh, the Privy Council Office led the panel. Y a-t-il moyen que vous ayez accès? Is there a way for you to access that information? If so, can you send it to us, to the committee? S'il vous plaît? Please. You're asking about the panel composition? Oui. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah, my understanding is the Privy Council Office will be speaking on this matter, and I believe they will have the relevant information that you have requested. Perfect. Perfect. Because I don't think I'm telling you anything new. Mr. Noseworthy was in a situation of a conflict of interest. He knew Ms. Verschuren. He was friends with her. So even in selecting the board of directors, there could have been favoritism. And as minister responsible, you could have seen all of that and act accordingly. So my question is the following. When you made your announcement with great fanfare, $46 million in January 2020, of the 14 companies that were funded four years ago, if you don't remember things eight years ago, maybe you'll remember things four years ago, five companies received COVID money without being analyzed on a case-by-case -case basis. So one was not eligible. So nearly half of the companies that you were proud to fund were not really eligible. Does, what does that mean to you today? Or do you feel absolutely no regret about everything you did as minister responsible for this type of situation? Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much for your question. Decisions that were made by the management and the board were independent. And as I had mentioned, the, it's an arm's length organization. And there are clear rules in place to determine how these funds should be dispersed. And those rules needed to be followed. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Suivant.